Today, we're making an evil snowman that'll look perfect in your Halloween or Christmas decorations. This six and a half foot monster is rated for indoor or outdoor use. So join me for this awesome tutorial. To begin making our evil snowman, we need beach balls. I'm going to be using three sizes, 24, 36, and 42 inches. Now if you want your snowman to be shorter, just adjust the sizes, but this is the size I always make all my snowmen, so let's go with that one. Once you get it, inflate your balls, and let's start with the biggest one, which is the base. It'll be the 42 inch one. We're going to be using Great Stuff Expanding Foam for the base, and once that dries, we're going to be using Loctite Foam. So let's get ready. It's going to be a little bit messy, so make sure you're working in an area where you have plastic or paper down, wear some latex gloves, and let's get to foaming. So, <clears throat> To begin, get yourself a box or a laundry basket or something where you can hold the ball upright like this. It doesn't matter which side we use, but if you want to reuse the balls, make sure you put them face down and don't cover this area with expanding foam. But this snowman doesn't need the balls. Simply put, this is just to give it the form. Once it dries completely, you can actually deflate the beach balls, take them out, reuse them again, because we don't need them. So I'm probably just going to stab them once I'm done with it or just deflate it. So we're going to use great stuff expanding foam for gaps and cracks. This is the orangey red bottle. We're going to cover it with a single layer, just like this. Once we get to this area, we'll try to go in an up and down motion. So, you want to go as far down as you can go without it falling over. So we've almost made it to halfway. We'll do this all the way around. Once we do it all the way around, we'll let this one half dry first, okay? You want it to dry, it should only take about an hour or two. You can flip it over and then finish the other side. It doesn't matter that it looks you know, a little rough right now because this is the base coat. We're only applying one layer. So once this is done, then we can apply the Loctite foam. And the Loctite foam, we can pat it down with some gloves to make it nice and smooth. So just finish with this layer, let it dry, flip it over, let's continue. To make the mouth, we're gonna be using a method we haven't used before. So we're using Loctite foam and I have parchment paper here. I've measured this to about 14 inches. That's gonna be the width of the mouth. You can do it bigger, you can do it smaller, but for this size, I'm doing 14 inches. What we wanna do is gently make jagged teeth going up and down, up and down to make a wide mouth. So when this dries, we can get this and stick it to the head of the snowman. Sounds a little bit complicated, but let's see if it works. I'm hoping it does. So let me open this can. I've shaken it for about a minute, and let's get going. Let's give it a spray with our water bottle. We just want to mist it. Okay, so make sure you mist it really good with water and then set a timer for three minutes. What we're trying to do is after the three minutes are done, we're going to handle it with our hand and push this down. We want to be able to form it better and let's see if we're able to get some nice teeth going with this method. Now that three minutes have passed, what we want to do is Gently tap down. See, nothing is coming out on my hands because we put the water. So what I wanted to do to see if we could form a little bit of a sharper look to the teeth. There we go. Let's 
Just a sharper look. Let's cut this right over here. We can actually cut that with a knife once we're done. So what we're doing is just making them look sharper. That's it. So I realized my camera wasn't recording when I lifted it up, but here it is. Look how awesome that looks. And all we did was with our gloves, we shaped this and then we let it rise. Then once it's dried, cause it was completely flat, all we do is curve it just a little bit. Once it's dry, I held it like this. I just put um, two blocks on the right and left side just to hold it like this for about 10, 15 minutes. And then it kept the shape. And this is gonna be the mouth for the evil snowman. Super, super simple and it looks so good. So let's continue by gluing this with foam to the head. All right, so we have half of our snowman head already with foam. Now we have the mouth. We can't attach it like this because we want it to be hollow over here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn it around. We're gonna attach the mouth just like this. Remember, this is gonna be on the snowman like this. So you don't want the mouth to be too high up. You want it to be just like this. So I think that is a good angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, turn it around like this once we've got our position or our position. Then we're gonna start putting expanding foam, great stuff expanding foam all over it. And then I'm probably gonna use some painter's tape to hold it down for about an hour until it dries. And we'll be done with the head. As we've done with our other snowmen on this channel, we're simply going to wrap it with expanding foam. We're gonna start with a circle, or should I say a twirl effect. For the last step, we need to cover our insulation foam with white Loctite. As you can see, we've already applied some on that side. The regular expanding foam we get has this yellowish hue to it, which will only get more yellow with more exposure to sunlight. So we want to put the white Loctite, but what I love about the white Loctite foam is that after about three minutes, once you apply it, you can actually pat it down to mold it, but only after we've misted it with water. So I have my water ready and I've shaken my Loctite for a good 60 seconds. We're going to apply, you wanna do this quickly because it'll start drying already and you want to apply the misted water on top. So we're gonna use one whole can to fill in the area that we're working in. So it's probably gonna be this whole area right over here. Do it quickly, fill it in. Once it's done, get your bottle and spray it very good. You don't wanna lightly mist it. You wanna make sure that it gets enough wetness on it so that it'll form a skin over it. After you've sprayed it with the water, put a timer for three minutes to three and a half minutes, and then with a latex glove on, you can pat it down to form it a, uh, a much smoother surface. So let's get to it. So now that we've done applying the foam, immediately get your spray bottle, make sure it's mist, and then let's start getting all of it nice and misted. Doesn't matter if you apply too much, we just wanna make sure that all areas 
get a nice misting of water. All right, so a lot has happened with our evil snowman, but fear not, it's super simple to do. As you can see, these arms are super cool. They're gonna look amazing. I made these out of paper mache glue, which is paper towels, wood glue, and some water. And then you start wrapping it around wire or PVC. Now I made a tutorial on how to make this type of branch, arms, kind of tree-like creature on my evil pumpkin tree video. I'm gonna link it. Hopefully there's a drop down right up there. I'm gonna link it, or is it up there? I think, <laughs> either way, there's gonna be a drop down. Click the link and it'll show you step by step on how to make a tree-like figure, including these arms that I'm using. Now you don't need to go all out and do these arms. You could actually just use branches that you have laying around in your yard to make it look more like a regular snowman. But we go big in this channel, so these scary looking branch arms are is what we're using. I used a half inch PVC pipe that I just put through the middle part of the snowman and then attached it simply with two screws over here. So if you end up doing that, you could easily do that. Now, as you can see, nothing is attached. And what is this wire here? Now, this wire contains an LED flame effect bulb and I think it's going to look amazing. We're simply going to put the bulb inside like that and you can let the wire hang from the back or Smart idea is to make a hole into the foam on the top and put the wire all the way through to the bottom so that the cable is hidden on the inside. Next, we have this, once we position it like that, we're going to use the same expanding foam, Loctite, to fill in these areas. Now this piece will be permanently one piece, so you can't really take it apart, but I'm not going to put foam around the arms, so you can remove the arms for easier storage. This is super lightweight, so you don't have to worry about it being super heavy. But once we put Loctite foam and we seal it in, we'll do it to the bottom half as well, then we'll be done. And all you have to do is either put some accessories on it, maybe a hat, maybe a carrot for a nose, and then we're done. And that's it. Super easy. Well, not really, but super fun. All right, now that we have our arm attached with a screw to the PVC that's going to the other side, we need to cover this. So we could do one of two things. We could use the foam we used here, which is Loctite, or we could grab some cotton or stuffing material to put it here to just gently hide it. That is the easier way to do it, to use cotton balls or uh, pillow stuffing to put it there. But for a more permanent fixture, we could use Loctite. Put it in there, spray it with some water, pat it down a little bit, and then you would have to cut off the arms if you wanted to store it without the arms. So either or is fine, but let I'm gonna use some Loctite foam, seal it up really quickly. To finish it off, we're simply using this carrot pen that I found on Amazon. I made a slight hole right here, and bam just like that, and we have his carrot on his face.